What's going on, guys? Um, I'm going to try to catch some bluegill today. Maybe we can get some. That pretty big would be nice. But um, I'm going to be using bread. I got some buns just to throw out to track them. And then I got some bread, some softer bread to actually fish with. I'm just going to be using this reel rod right here. And the hook I got on is super tiny, so they won't be able to see it that good in the bread because these fish I actually fish with these brim or bluegill whatever you call them a pretty good bit so they are pretty skittish but um I'll see y'all when I get down there all right first thing you do take some bread throw it out there chum the water up look at them they are eating it some big bluegill or brim whatever you call them in this pond holy cow Oh yeah, they are um, they're stacking in this pond, but something has it. Got something. It's a big broom. Good broom. It's a decent sized broom. It's decent, I guess. It's not big by no means. There's way bigger ones in here. But all right, got something on here. It's like another little bluegill. It should be called bass company. Just eat him. A tiny one. A real small bluegill. It's a good bass bait right there. That's a good one right there. I just called. Sorry, I wasn't recording. But yeah. Got another one on here. So much grass, they don't even fight that much. Another small one. I'm taking a piece of bread about a inch long. I'm just wrapping the hook point. All right, it don't matter if there's a little bit of grass on or you don't got grass in those ponds or whatnot. Yeah, got him. Another tiny one. That fish hook. I'm just throwing it out there. See, one's hitting it out right now. Right time it hits the water. Um, on. He's still hitting at it. All right, got him. Another tiny one. Now this is the size you want for bass bait. This is like perfect size. But anyways, another tiny one. <clears throat> there was a catfish around here. I don't know where you went. Oh, they're biting well, pretty good today. Like I'm having another bite as we speak right now. Another one. That's a better one, I believe. Still a small one, but it's better, at least. Another one. Also, you also want to keep in mind that um, some places you need to use a sinker, like maybe like current, like in a river or a lake that has a little current from the dam or something. But I mean, other than that, when you're just fishing a pond, I wouldn't use no sinker. I wouldn't use no cork. Um, I would just put a little piece of bread on and just let it sink to the bottom. And to me, that's when I have my most love. So, once this bread hits the water, I'm gonna start a countdown for 10 seconds. I think I can catch a fish within 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, got him. I caught him in two seconds. And that's a big one too, look at that. That's a big broom. Two seconds. A big old blue broom. Or bluegill. I don't care what you want to call it. I just caught him in two seconds. His broom caught here well over a pound. Here's one right here. Taking it. Got him. 
This might be a better one. A little bit better. Still kind of a, on the small side. But. Okay, right here. A little hand side. Alright, guys, I just got know. done. I hope you enjoyed the video. I did the the bluegill two second challenge and you know well the 10 second challenge but i did it in two seconds i had him on the line in two seconds so thought that was pretty cool and i'd like to do that again so comment down if you like to see that again like maybe i don't know get a bite with a catfish in two seconds or, or 10 seconds or brim in 10 seconds again or even a bass in 10 seconds that'd be really hard catfish and bass would be really hard but if you don't mind dropping a like and subscribe and thanks for watching.